All right, back with the R6. Uh, looking to do a swap out the coolant. So this bike is a 2000 and I've never changed a coolant on it so it's pretty uh, well overdue. So I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drain all the coolant out and then I'm just going to, I'm probably going to put a little bit of antifreeze in there and then I'm just going to run almost 100% water. And uh, if you're going to do this be sure to get distilled water. Okay, the, the distilled water doesn't have any minerals or anything in it so that's what you want to get. I just got some uh, stuff is pre-mixed. So uh, I'm going to start by uh, take that cap off and uh, down here a little 8 millimeter uh, drain plug. So I guess that'll get that cap off, take that drain off, drain this out. And definitely want to do this when uh, everything's nice and cool. Definitely don't want to open up a cooling system that's hot. Alright, got the cap off the radiator. Let's kind of loosen this up. So coming around to the left side of the bike, I put the plug back in, the drain plug back in the other side. I got my pan over here. Got a couple of 10 millimeter bolts holding this uh, reservoir in place. So disconnect that and uh, dump it out. Alright, so after dumping it out, I just filled it with some distilled water, took a rag and covered this, just kind of shook it up, did that like three times, dumped the water out, and now I've got, uh, I filled it with distilled water to about the halfway mark in there, and I'll put it back on. Alright, so i got it reattached, got the two bolts back on there, put the cap back on, got that little overflow bottle line hooked up. Just gotta put these breather lines back through here. Alright, so that's all set. Alright, so I just loosened the screw up for that ram air ducting. It's still attached to the air box. I just took it off the front piece here and uh, pushed it back. Got enough planets where I can get this funnel on there so. I'm going to fill it up with a little bit of antifreeze and then uh, top it off with the water. Alright, so I got it filled up to the top there. And uh, another thing I like to do is just, you know, squeeze on this hose. Kind of helps work some of the air bubbles out. And I'm just going to let this sit with the cap off for probably like 20 minutes. Let's, uh, any of those air bubbles worked their way out of there. We should be ready to put the ram air duct back on there and fire it up. All right, so got the radiator topped off with water and uh, I'm gonna put that cap back on there, fire this thing up and uh, just let it run for like a minute or whatever. I'm gonna shut it down and take the cap back off. Should uh, push some of the air bubbles out of there.
looks like the level's gone down a little bit, so I'm going to let this kind of sit here for a couple minutes and then top it off. Alright, going to finish up the uh, coolant on the R6. Um, so yeah, I just put 100% water in there initially when I changed everything. And uh, I've been running it for probably three or four days now. I mean, I probably put about somewhere between 60 and 100 miles on it with the water in there. So now uh, I'm going to drain all the water out and uh, top it off with a 50-50 mix. And throw a little water wetter in there. Got the 8 millimeter bolt to uh, remove the drain. And I uh, got my screwdriver so I can take the uh, ram air duct loose. So I'm going to loosen that duct, take that cap off of there, and uh, start draining it. Alright, got the cap off of there. Ram air duct is up. Ready to uh, start draining this. So when it's all done draining, let's get your drain plug cleaned up and I'll reinstall it. Make sure you snug it up. Be good. All right, so coming around to the other side of the bike, your drain pan over here. It's a couple of 10 mils that hold the bottle on. I'm gonna take these uh, fuel tank breathers out of here. And there's uh, the overflow line's got to be taken off. So I'll dump this bottle out and uh, put some fresh uh, coolant in there. So after you empty it, I just fill it about halfway between the uh, two marks there. Let's get something in there. You can always top it off later if it needs it. And reinstall this. All right, got the bottle back on. Cap back on there. The tube plug back in. It's two uh, mounting bolts. And the uh, breather hoses for the gas tank tucked back in there. Ready to start filling it. Got this bottle half full. So ready to fill the radiator. Got the funnel ready to go. Got the 50-50 uh, mix coolant and my water wetter. So I'm going to put a little bit of coolant in there. I'm going to put about two or three ounces of that water wetter in there and top it off with the coolant. I'm um, not going to like fill it all the way up. going to get it pretty close to the top and run the bike try to bleed some of the air out before I go topping it off I got it filled right now it's probably a couple inches below that fill cap so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna set the cap on there start the bike up and let it run for a little bit
right, so now I'm uh, going to put the cap on completely and uh, let it get up to operating temperature. Alright, so after running it, let it just sit for about an hour, let it all cool down. Took the cap off. Pretty much filled to the top. So, uh, gonna put the cap back on and uh, get that ram air duct reattached. Alright, got it all finished up. So, the other thing you want to do, make sure, you know, you keep an eye on that drain. Make sure that uh, it's not leaking. So, keep an eye on that in the future and uh, just keep an eye on that overflow bottle and uh, top it off if you have to.